We got band control. We got band spirits. How are we going to fight it? We're going to fight it with fish. All right, here we are. Game seven of our Merfolk Singleton event uh, deck here. And uh, we're going to see what we're playing against. It'll be awesome. I like playing as Danny Trejo. Um, this hand is not good though. Hey, that rhymed. I wish I could do that all the time. Um, we are gonna mulligan this. All right, this is better. Immediately better. Sure, evolving wilds on top. It'll get us our our forest. So we can forest, play Benthic Biomancer, and pass the turn. Our opponent has a Selesnia Guildgate, which leads me to believe that there's some sort of Knight Tribal deck, which has been very common in our uh, in our play so far. All right, our opponent plays a Simic Guildgate, which leads me to believe that they're not doing any shenanigany things. And since we actually hit a forest, uh, we can go ahead and buff up Biomancer and uh, shuffle away this Evolving Wilds and uh, swing for two. Might as well get in for the for the two damage. Maybe our opponent's playing the Gates deck. Look, there's some Flying Merfolk in that Simic Guild Gate. <laughs> Tatiova! Alright, so we're gonna attack. Hit him for two. And uh, we're gonna play this uh, Water Trap Weaver for no value. Just a three mana 2 2. Unfortunately, in this situation, I think we kinda gotta keep pushing, you know. Uh, my opponent hasn't seemed to be doing anything with all this mana. Hopefully they're figuring out something to do. Seal away, sure. Seal away our Benthic Biomancer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, crush their dreams. I'm just puntastic today. All right, we got an Incubation Druid here, which does have Adapt 3. Let's move to attacks and attack with Water Trap Weaver. If they want to throw that uh, Incubation Druid under the bus, that is fine by me. We'll go ahead and play Tatiova. That yo MTV raps the. <laughs> Ooh, destroy all creatures. Sure. So I played Salvager of Secrets. Oh, we do. We get Crushing Canopy back. Sure. That's not the worst. I guess our opponent is playing some sort of weird control deck because they have not been able to do anything. Sure. And we'll play River Sneak Out and just kind of see what's happening. Piffle Panda, our opponent. Oh, there's a treasure map. Let's go ahead and copy River Sneak. Just have two unblockable sources of damage. It's not terrible. I hit him for four this turn. I don't know what our opponent's doing here. They're doing some shenanigans. Uh, they're trying to get this treasure map to flip. And uh, it turns into Treasure Cove, which uh, lets them draw you know, s sacrifice treasures and draw cards. Hmm. 
when it flips you get three treasures so that's not terrible um, but it is a bit slow and uh, I can destroy it next turn so <laughs> just to really get a, <laughs> just to just to just to crush their dreams I could I could destroy it oh and our opponent concedes okay that's that's fine so we're gonna go right into the next game We'll open all the packs that we can at the end of this. Uh, basically, any packs that we earn through this event, uh, we'll just go ahead and straight open. I've already opened my, or I've already gotten my um, playset of duress uh, promos, so I'm okay with. The, I'm at I'm at peace with myself. Uh, this is terrible because we have two green sources and nothing else, and two really high cost cards in our our hands. So we're gonna mulligan this. Hmm. This is pretty bad too. Uh, we'll go. We'll see what our opponent does first, because our opponent is choosing to whether or not to mulligan as well. So we'll see what our opponent does. Hopefully, they do something here soon. So they've decided to keep, uh, we're going to mulligan as well. Uh, we're not going to go lower than that. Sure. We'll keep. And, uh, we're going to be drawing evolving wilds, which is not great. Um, but we can't really go any lower. Let's go ahead and crack this now. We'll go ahead and get our blue source. Adanto Vanguard uh, is a is a pretty great magic card. Not gonna lie. We'll go ahead and explore with Merfolk Branchwalker, a great magic card in its own right. All right, and we'll go ahead and uh, let this breeding pool enter tapped. Uh, we have no reason for it to come into play untapped, and uh, yeah. Does that have first strike? Oh, they can pay four life for it to become uh, indestructible. So until we have something fairly big, oh, they got a branch walker of their own. And there's drew them a, uh, a planes. Hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, quasi duplicate this Merfolk Branch Walker because it can hit a a land as well. Um, we need to hit lands. We, I'm sorry, we need to hit lands. Let's go ahead and attack. I'm okay with trading with their Branch Walker. It's fine. Let's go ahead and block. Let them pay the life. It's it's basically better than attacking, honestly. Shahili. Shalai, voice of plenty. Uh, it's only an instant if we have a merfolk. Oh, we, we can't kick it. Okay. Well, let's just cast it then. Unfortunately, I should have left that alive, I think. Because um, then we could have quasi-duplicated it and kind of dug a little bit more. Uh, but that is that is definitely my fault. And there's that Lyra Dawnbringer again. Unfortunately, this time it has Hexproof thanks to the uh, Shalai there. 
Mm. I think we're pretty we're pretty much dead here, but let's uh, play it out just for just for giggles. Oh, we can't target anything else. Okay, so we'll bounce the Shalai, draw a card, and uh, that's unfortunately not a card we can play or it would really get us out of this hole. And uh, we're, we're just dead to this flyer next turn, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and concede. All right, we'll go into the next set of games. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, remember to check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. is at FishCastMTG. And, uh, you know, keep being awesome. Yeah, have a good night.